In this video, we will continue to explore editing monogram borders. If you wish to change the first border into a fill that is behind the letters, first select the first border and place a dot in front of fill type. Then you can select the type of fill you wish from the drop-down choices. Make your selection and you'll see the software automatically updates that border and changes the border from an outline border into the fill that is behind the lettering. I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see that we need to change the offset in order to tuck this filled edge underneath the satin outline. And I'm going to do that by selecting the second border and decreasing the offset. And when I zoom in again, you'll notice that the offset is now such that the border tucks underneath the satin border. To further edit this type of selected fill, you can select the Properties button. So I'm going to select the first border, which is the filled border, and click on Properties. Here I can change the parameters of the lace work. I can change the size. And let's just change it to 0.14. I can also change the spacing of the column. And you'll notice that these changes are updating in the layout that you see. And when I apply that, I now have a smaller lace fill. I could also change the type of lace fill by clicking on the Select button and choosing a new category. So the select button takes me to a dialog box and I can choose the category. Remember, you can also see the design in true view if you click on this red icon. When I go OK, the lace fill has been updated. Now, other changes that can be made in the advanced editing of borders include changing the aspect ratio and rotating the border. So if I click on the advance bar and if I increase the aspect ratio, that is going to change the width of the border in relationship to the height of the border. By increasing the aspect ratio, the width of the monogram gets wider while lowering the aspect ratio the height gets taller compared to the width. So you can make adjustments on your special type of monogram border. I can also rotate the border in relationship to the letters. So if I want to rotate, I can click on the up arrow. And as I increase the size of the number of degrees, it's going to rotate to the left. And if I decrease, the border rotates to the right. So choosing the advanced options will give you a unique look to your monograms.